A couple of months ago, I received an unusual email titled, Another AM5 or Jouet? Wrong. And they came after the EM31. It turns out that this was an email from the company MCAN, who produced the EM31 Pro Strain Wave Mount, a mount that on specifications and features alone slightly outranks the highly popular and recently released AM5N mount, which is undoubtedly surprising since I'd never heard of it before. In today's video, I'm going to be testing it out as well as comparing it to its competitors in order to determine whether or not this unknown mount is in fact the best value for money mount on the market. I'm Damon Scotting, and this is Astronomical. First things first, it's time to break some hearts by announcing its price. So it's certainly on the more premium side of things, so do its specifications back it up? Well, it's clear to see that its premium price matches its premium payload capabilities. It's ever so slightly better value for money than the ZWO AM5N mount, but I wouldn't say the savings are enough to make me want to go out and invest in this seemingly unknown mount instead. So what does it offer that the AM5N and all the other mounts do not? Let's take a look at their product list that includes the prices of each of these additional additional accessories to the main mount. The first thing to note is that this mount is far more compatible with new features than any other mount. The key standout improvement being this alt azimuth attachment. Now the payload still remains as high as 20 kilograms when formatted in this style, but your viewing experience increases emphatically. This unique attachment allows you to explore the night sky better than any other strain wave mount. Now I've been using this mount in cooperation with the ASI Air, a mini computer that makes your stargazing experience a lot simpler. The ASI Air is renowned for not playing ball with other companies gear but when it comes to this mount it works very nicely. The EM31 Pro utilizes on-step software, the same as the Jouet 14 and Jouet 17 mounts. You can control the mount immediately from the hand controller attached but one key pro for me is that I can control this mount simply via my computer or my ASI Air and Stella Vita as well. So the bottom line is this mount is not limited. Given the popularity of strainwave mounts nowadays it's not good enough just to make a product that's just as capable as the rest. The EM31 Pro is the most well thought out and multi-purposeful strain wave mount available on today's market at a very competitive price. You've seen me whack on two separate telescopes now to the EM31 Pro. Now that in itself is not unique. In fact, any of the other mounts could do that as well. But with this bull head and mount attachment, allowing you to attach an additional DSLR camera to your rig and record Milky Way time lapses, the EM31 Pro mount is just a bit more complex than the other mounts in the sense that it offers so many additional attachments you can buy to improve your setup accordingly accordingly to your needs. It's multi-purposeful, which is nice. Yes, I know that not all of you are going to want an alt azimuth attachment, but for some that will be an unbelievably useful tool. So even if you don't fancy any of the cool bells and whistles that this mount comes with, the bottom line is you're still going to get a mount just as good as the leading competitor. The company MCAM got in touch because they have seen my reviews on the AM5 and the Jouet mounts, so naturally my first question to them was going to be, what makes you so special? Why should I choose you over the others? To which they wrote, while AM5 benefits from the backing of a well-known astronomy company, we've taken mechanical design, material selection, ergonomics, functionality, and reliability to the next level. Jouet, on the other hand, has attracted users primarily due to its low price. However, many users on cloudy nights have mentioned issues with its build, quality, stability, and overall completeness. Our product, however, is specifically designed for users seeking higher quality and a more comprehensive experience. Now, I'm actually personally a really big fan of the Jouet mount. I'm yet to have an issue of mine, but with that being said, the biggest red flag with them is that if there is an issue, there's no official complaint or health department to resolve your issue with. Meanwhile, MCAN claims to have developed a reputation for having an outstanding customer support system in place, and to be honest, based on the immensely thorough and detailed guides they attach in their email, I think all the help you need is in here anyways. That safety net of having a company to fall back on, assuming something goes wrong with your or, let's face it, very expensive piece of gear will mean a tremendous amount to large parts of the community, which is why people still choose the AM5 over the Jouet 17. So I suppose when it comes down to comparing the quality of the Jouet 17 and the AM5N versus the EM31 Pro, the EM31 Pro does come out on top. As far as guiding goes, it tracks and slews just as well as my Jouets, which is amazingly well. So from my own user experience, the mounts are delight and will be sitting on top of my peer mount for the foreseeable future as a mainstay. MCAN have provided me with a lot of guidance surrounding the mount and made compelling arguments for why it's a more respectable choice, especially in comparison to my previously reviewed AM5 and Jouet mount. If you want to read their own justifications, you can pause the screen at some point here and have a read through. The bottom line from my point of view is that the EM31 Pro more than holds its own against its most popular competitors. Based on my own experiences so far and my communications with the company, 
company that makes them, MCAN, I'm happy to vouch for the mount. I think it's really good. And I appreciate the fact that we astrophotographers are getting more of a selection when it comes to choosing these products. Competition generally drives innovation, so the more the merrier in that sense. So in conclusion, the EM31 Pro is a welcome addition to this train wave market. I say addition, even though technically the EM31 was around before each of the EM5 and the Jouet mounts first burst onto the scene. But yeah, I don't think you can do much wrong by purchasing it as opposed to the alternatives. You get precisely what you pay for, which is a high quality strain wave mount. I figured I'd finish things off here with some images that I captured using the mount and the £999 Ascar 103 telescope. These are stacked shots of 60 times one minute unguided exposures. You can check it out in even more detail by clicking the link in the description below and let me know in the comments down below if you've had any experiences with this mount before and what your own thoughts and feelings are in regards to it and also what features and improvements you would possibly like to see come from strain wave mounts in the future. I'll be releasing another video fairly soon where I do more of a visual and price comparison between the Jouet 14, Jouet 17, AM5N and EM31 Pro mounts so make sure you're subscribed to see that as well. Thanks for watching, I'm Damon Scotting and this was astronomical.